Ladies and gentlemen, every great nation has a moment when it dares to dream beyond what others think is possible. A moment when belief turns into action and ambition becomes reality. Today, that moment belongs to Pakistan. For years, the global space race was dominated by giant nations with limitless budgets and long histories of exploration. But in 2025, something unexpected happened. A country often underestimated decided to aim higher, not to compete with others, but to prove that vision, not size, defines greatness. That country is Pakistan, and that vision is the HS-1 satellite. This is not just about technology. It's about mindset. It's about how a developing nation with limited resources but unlimited will entered a field where only the most powerful dared to play. And it's about what this single leap means, not just for Pakistan, but for India, for South Asia, and for the entire world watching this quiet revolution unfold. In this speech, we'll explore how Pakistan's HS-1 satellite is reshaping regional dynamics, challenging old assumptions, and sending a clear message that innovation is no longer owned by the few. It's accessible to anyone who believes in learning, discipline, and vision. So stay with me till the very end, because this is not just a story about a satellite orbiting above the Earth. It's a story about transformation, courage, and the beginning of a new kind of competition one that replaces rivalry with responsibility and division with discovery. Let's begin the journey. Pakistan's HS-1 satellite marks a turning point in the country's technological evolution one that blends national ambition with practical application. For decades, Pakistan's space efforts were modest, largely relying on foreign partnerships for satellite design, launch, and data analysis. Earlier satellites like Badr-1 or Paksat Onur were milestones, but they did not signify deep domestic capability in space science. HS-1 changes that narrative. It represents not only a new satellite in orbit, but also a growing internal capacity in research, design, and data utilization, a signal that Pakistan aims to move from being a space consumer to a space contributor. The HS-1 satellite is significant because it reportedly integrates modern technologies such as artificial intelligence-based Earth observation, secure communication networks, and data processing autonomy. These features allow Pakistan to reduce dependence on foreign systems for critical information such as environmental monitoring, national mapping, and disaster management. In today's digital age, these are not just scientific tools, they are national assets that influence security, economy, and policy making. By using AI and high resolution imaging, HS1 can gather and interpret data about land use, climate changes, and agricultural productivity far more efficiently than previous models. Equally important is the symbolic shift HS1 represents. It is the first time Pakistan's space program has presented itself not M merely as a reaction to external pressures, but as a proactive vision of technological sovereignty. The satellite's development reportedly involved collaboration with both domestic engineers and international partners, blending local talent with global expertise. This hybrid model is essential for countries that wish to leap forward without reinventing every step of the process. In terms of infrastructure, HS1 reflects Pakistan's growing investment in ground stations, data centers, and space-related education. The Pakistan Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission, SUPARCO, has taken gradual but steady steps toward building a more integrated ecosystem where satellite data can directly support agriculture, weather prediction, and communication technologies. Ultimately, the launch of HS-1 is not about matching other countries in scale, but about redefining Pakistan's role in a technology-driven future. It signals a belief that space exploration is not only for the few with massive budgets, but also for nations that recognize the strategic and developmental value of independent access to space-based information. 
India has long held a dominant position in South Asia's space landscape through the Indian Space Research Organization, better known as ISRO. Its record is widely respected from the successful Chandrayaan lunar missions to the Mars orbiter mission that placed India among the world's elite spacefaring nations. These achievements built India's reputation as a model of cost-effective innovation, proving that a developing country could compete with established powers in space exploration. Over time, ISRO became a symbol of both national pride and soft power, allowing India to attract international partnerships, satellite launch contracts, and scientific collaboration from across the world. However, dominance in technology always carries an implicit pressure the need to stay ahead. Pakistan's launch of the HS-1 satellite, while far smaller in scale compared to ISRO's major missions, subtly adds to that pressure. It signals that Pakistan is no longer content to remain on the periphery of space development. This shift, even if modest, introduces a new psychological and strategic dimension to India's space ambitions. When a regional competitor enters the same technological domain, it naturally triggers an acceleration in innovation, investment, and national focus to maintain leadership. From a strategic perspective, India's space program is deeply intertwined with its national security and economic vision. Satellite-based intelligence, communication, and navigation systems underpin both civilian and defense infrastructure. Therefore, Pakistan's effort to build independent capabilities, even for peaceful uses, challenges the traditional technological hierarchy of South Asia. It does not threaten India's lead directly, but it narrows the symbolic distance between the two nations in the public and diplomatic imagination. For India, this emerging competition to Wu, LD be both a challenge and an opportunity. It may encourage ISRO to push faster toward its next generation of projects, including manned spaceflight, interplanetary missions, and commercial satellite launches. For Pakistan, it represents a chance to learn from India's long path while avoiding some of its early developmental barriers. In this way, HS1 creates a constructive tension, one that drives both sides toward progress. The presence of a new player in the regional space domain ultimately highlights how innovation is contagious once one nation takes a step forward. Others feel compelled to match that pace, and the entire region moves ahead in capability and ambition. The emergence of Pakistan's HS-1 satellite reflects a gradual but meaningful shift in South Asia's regional balance, one that is being defined less by military posturing and more by technological advancement. For decades, the geopolitical narrative between India and Pakistan was dominated by issues of defense, territory, and security competition. Yet, with the HS-1 program, Pakistan has entered a domain that emphasizes innovation, education, and data intelligence rather than weaponry. This move reframes national ambition around scientific capability and introduces a new form of balanced competition through technology instead of confrontation through arms. This evolving balance does not mean that the rivalry has disappeared, rather, it has been reinterpreted. Technological progress now serves as a new measure of national strength. By investing in space technology, Pakistan signals its intent to compete through knowledge, research, and digital infrastructure. The country's focus on satellites for communication, climate monitoring, and agricultural management highlights an understanding that real security in the 21st century is tied to data control, environmental prediction, and digital resilience. In response, India is likely to intensify its own innovation cycles, not to outpace Pakistan militarily, but to sustain its status as a global leader in space research and regional technology provider. This form of competition, though subtle, can produce positive externalities. When two nations compete in fields like space science, it creates a ripple effect in education, private industry, and scientific curiosity. Both countries will require engineers, analysts, and researchers opening new opportunities for youth, 
and encouraging academic institutions to align their programs with emerging global technologies. The result can be a shift from political confrontation to human capital development, where progress in one country motivates investment in the other. For the region, this transformation could signal a healthier equilibrium. Instead of zero-sum rivalries, a race toward technological advancement may contribute to stability by generating shared goals, such as climate data exchange, communication systems, and regional disaster monitoring. Space technology, by nature, is peaceful unless military. Zedit offers a neutral ground for demonstrating capability without direct aggression. The HS-1 satellite, therefore, symbolizes more than just Pakistan's technical ambition. It suggests that South Asia's next chapter might be shaped not by who holds the larger arsenal, but by who leads in scientific progress and digital empowerment. From a European perspective, Pakistan's launch of the HS-1 satellite represents more than just a regional development. It highlights a global shift in how emerging economies are participating in high technology domains once limited to major powers. Europe has long supported international cooperation in space, valuing research partnerships, climate observation, and sustainable development over competition. The HS-1 satellite introduces new opportunities for Europe to engage with South Asia through academic collaboration, data sharing, and joint technology ventures, particularly in areas where space science intersects with human development, such as agriculture, disaster management, and environmental monitoring. European space agencies and institutions have a history of working with partners beyond their borders. The European Space Agency, ESA, for example, collaborates with several developing nations to promote peaceful space exploration. Pakistan's growing capability demonstrated through HS1 opens doors for similar engagement. European universities and research centers may find value in supporting Pakistan's data analytics, AI modeling, and remote sensing programs. This collaboration could benefit both sides. Europe gains access to unique regional data on climate patterns, glaciers, and monsoon systems, while Pakistan benefits from training, mentorship, and advanced research frameworks. Economically, this trend signals how innovation is becoming decentralized. Technological advancement is no longer confined to the traditional centers of power in North America, Europe, or East Asia. With countries like Pakistan investing in space-based technologies, the global innovation network becomes more inclusive, and that inclusivity fosters stability. Europe, emphasizing sustainable growth and global cooperation, can see in Pakistan's HS1 a chance to support a balanced development model one that encourages technological independence while maintaining peaceful intent. From a strategic lens, Europe also recognizes the soft power implications of such progress. When developing nations achieve success in complex fields like satellite technology, it reduces dependency on major global suppliers, which in turn supports a multipolar and stable technological order. In regions like South Asia, where competition often carries historical sensitivities, such progress can be channeled into constructive cooperation rather than rivalry. European policymakers are likely to view HS1 as an opportunity to encourage dialogue and shared research among South Asian nations. By promoting joint projects in space technology and climate science, Europe can act. As a neutral facilitator that turns competition into collective advancement, reinforcing its broader vision of global peace through scientific collaboration. The launch of Pakistan's HS-1 satellite carries a message that extends far beyond technology or national pride. It reflects the growing idea that peace can be built through progress. In regions often defined by rivalry and mistrust, scientific advancement offers a rare opportunity for shared purpose. The HS-1 mission centered on data collection, communication, and environmental observation, presents a model of how nations can channel ambition into constructive achievements. 
Instead of being a symbol of confrontation, it can become a bridge for cooperation, demonstrating that innovation, when used responsibly, strengthens societies without threatening others. This concept of peace through progress rests on the principle that technological capability should serve humanity first. Satellites like HS1 can monitor floods, map agricultural resources, and improve communication infrastructure functions that benefit people regardless of borders. When such technologies are used transparently, they promote trust. For instance, if data from HS1 contributes to regional disaster warning systems or climate studies, it can create common ground between Pakistan and its neighbors, including India. Shared access to scientific data has the potential to ease tensions and shift dialogue from suspicion to collaboration. Globally, the example of HS1 also fits within a broader movement where emerging nations are asserting their right to self-reliance in knowledge and technology. The more countries develop indigenous scientific capabilities, the less they depend on geopolitical alliances or military deterrence to define their security. This transition allows resources to be redirected toward education, innovation, and sustainable growth, the foundations of long-term peace. In this sense, every new satellite launch in the developing world is not only a technological achievement, but a statement of independence through intellect. For Pakistan, HS1 may also inspire a cultural transformation. It shows young scientists and engineers that progress is possible without confrontation, that space is not a battlefield but a platform for creativity and collaboration. If such thinking spreads, it could gradually reshape how the region perceives success, not in terms of dominance, but in the ability to create solutions that improve life on Earth. In the global context, HS1 reminds us that the future belongs to those who choose innovation over isolation, cooperation over competition, and the pursuit of knowledge over the pursuit of control. In conclusion, Pakistan's HS1 satellite is more than a technological milestone. It is a signal that South Asia is entering a new era, one shaped by innovation, not intimidation. It highlights how determination, knowledge, and collaboration can redefine a nation's global image. While India continues to lead with its remarkable achievements through IS role, Pakistan's step forward with HS1 creates a healthy and progressive form of competition one that can drive both countries towards scientific excellence and regional stability. For Europe and the wider world, this development offers a chance to support partnerships grounded in research, climate awareness, and digital empowerment. The true success of HS1 will not be measured by how high it orbits, but by how deeply it inspires cooperation transforming space from a race of pride into a journey of shared progress. May this spirit of innovation remind us that every new achievement no matter where it comes from, contributes to humanity's collective rise. And as we look toward the stars, may we remember that the future of peace and prosperity begins with knowledge, unity, and vision on Earth. Thank you for listening, and good luck to all the dreamers, scientists, and innovators who continue to prove that progress knows no boundaries.